smells pretty musty here. I guess this is abandoned for quite some time, but you can definitely smell pretty old. Good morning from Svalbard. Today I'm gonna do a full day trip. I'm going to two places here in Svalbard. This is the map of Svalbard and currently we are in Longyearbyen, which is right here. So from here, we're going down to Berensburg. It's about an hour and a half to two hour boat ride. After Berensburg, we're gonna go back to Longyearbyen and pick up more people. And in the afternoon, we're gonna go all the way here to see the two different glaciers. And then we're gonna go to Pyramiden, just right here. And that's gonna be one hour. And then we're just gonna go back here to Longyearbyen. So this is something I'm really looking forward to because it's gonna be beautiful, beautiful, exciting day. This is a pretty big ferry, so maybe about 100 seats here. So there's a bar that you can get food or drink from, including a reindeer meat and also coffee and tea for free anytime you want. And then the upper deck. Now just relax and in about an hour, we're gonna get to Berensburg. All right, listen. expect it to be this close. And we are ready to go. A lady told me that I look like an explorer. Dora, the explorer. <laughs> Berensburg. It's still an active Russian mining town. We're just gonna hop onto the deck and we're just gonna start our guided tour. Hello, dear friends. Hello, everyone. So lovely weather today. Yes. So we will start our home. My name is Anna, actually. Some so people are actually rushing up the stairs and we're just riding the bus. We get the easy way. In the 1930s, there's a Russian poetry written on the wall there. Our guide recited it to us and explained the meaning of it. And of course, it's all in Russian. So there's a wooden church right there. It was built in 1996. That's a year after a plane crash that did kill a lot of people here from Berensburg. Trust building, sure, you know, you can see two levels, but they actually have two more levels down below this. And this is the entry to the coal mine. Our guide told us that it's a six hour shift, one hour to go to the site, and then you work for four hours, and then one hour to go back. And they have to walk by foot. So 
they have the hotel right here, hospital, and they also have brewery. Used to be the northernmost brewery in the world. Their specialty is 7804 cocktail. The cocktail is really of 78 degrees of alcohol. Oh, oh yeah. The locals call it the see you tomorrow cocktail. 78% of alcohol and it's popular here. This is the glacier where they get the water for the brewery and then just kind of channeled all the way across the fjord to make their beer. This is the only post office here in Berensburg and you can also stamp your passport but I'm not sure whether I would do that. All right, send out postcards for mom so mom is from here. This building right here is their sports center and I think uh, she told us that they were building a swimming pool here. I wasn't too excited about Beresburg, but as soon as I stepped foot on the town, I knew it's gonna be so cool and I really wish I had a lot of time there. Right now it's almost noon and we are heading back to Long Year Beard. why I didn't wear the parka but look at that it is amazing so so many glaciers and these are some settlements that they built some were abandoned but this one were completely uh, livable so a lot of people live here Sure, it's an instant uh, MRE type of reindeer soup, but I'm just gonna give it a try because, you know, when else? It's only in Norway. Let's just give it a try. Cheers. It's chewy. Nothing really fancy because it's just the uh, meal ready to eat. So I guess it's not gonna be the same quality as a restaurant, for example. It definitely tastes like jerky-ish. So the jerky with the soup, some kind of curry in it. I guess the selling point of this is this the energy booster. So I don't know whether it works or not. We're back at the capital long year, Brienne. We have about 30 minutes here in the city just to pick up a few more people. I actually have a full day of excursion and we are going to Pyramiden later on uh, in this afternoon. Pyramid. 
London, which is our second destination for the day. I'm so excited. This is exactly why I want to see uh, Svalbard. That was the northernmost bus ride in the world. <laughs> it's about two minutes to this pyramid and sign over here. to see just emptiness. It's a lot of buildings here, but there's no people. Creepy. Pyramiden is now abandoned town, but it used to be a busy Soviet mining town all the way up till 1998. The building in the middle is a hotel. It's highly recommended if you can book it in April, which is one of the busiest months, because this whole area swarm with polar bears. She gave us a warning uh, before, so it's gonna be 10 minutes, no more, no less, and she's gonna lock the door, and she wasn't joking. So she said back in March, uh, earlier this year, two people actually get locked in inside, and they had to be rescued like two hours later. Try to take photos, film, whatever, and then everybody's walking in front of it. It's just chaotic. But hey, we're all obsessed. All of these dry plants were here 
in 1998 and they haven't nobody ever touched them ever since and we're not supposed to touch them <laughs> That song, Sven from Frozen. Are people better than reindeer? Don't you think it's true? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> 